Hello and welcome back to another Degenerates in Gaming video and man oh man what a day in FIFA it was today. They have released all of the honorable mentions cards on top of the team of the year cards. I have opened all of my packs. This one my coin total is about 150,000 higher than what it was prior. It opened probably about 100 packs worth of stuff. Uh, there's some spicy videos up and coming. I might be recording videos all night because I'm so excited and amped up with everyone I've got. Now the first one for the day is obviously how you saw. Uh, Orkham Cuckoo has come out today and since I did a video earlier on in the year on him, I think why not do another one on him. It is his team of the week and his team of the week was not that bad and this one is obviously way more boosted up. So let's check out Orkham Cuckoo. And I'll, I always love a good walkout. I'm just a sucker for walkouts. I like watching them. I don't know. Maybe you're the same way. I don't know. I don't know. But the, the good nice thing is the Eredivisie has got a nice squad going this year. And hopefully maybe down the line he is usable for objectives or things along the line like that. Now I'm going to throw him into a team real quick. And I will be back in a second. The squad I've thrown Kaku in. I just want to talk a little bit about the card itself. He's got three star skill moves which is nothing crazy but he makes up for it instantly with a weak foot being five stars which is amazing. Every five star weak foot card is a card I truly thoroughly enjoy very much. I've thrown a hunter card on him because I want to boost up his pace and his shooting up some. Uh, it's just for fun. Why not? It sounds like a decent chem style to use. I don't know. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Even though I'm doing the review. How funny. Uh, his passing is very nice all around, which is what you always want to see as a midfielder. Uh, dribbling is pretty solid as well. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, his stamina is at 94, which is always something I truly like to see. Usually I struggle with cards that have like 70, 74, 80s. I always like high 90s, so that is always good to see there. Uh, his defending is nothing special, but maybe he'll get an interception or two if you're lucky. But that's not what you're here for. And if you look at the traits, he has the finesse shot trait, which we all do truly love very, very much, and the outside foot shot trait, one of the two of the more important ones. And he's a medium, medium work rate as well. Now, this is the team we have thrown him in. We have Pele up top, Haji, Alaire, Van Ginkel, which is a beast. If, if you didn't pick him, I'm sorry you didn't pick him. Sangare, uh, Kaku, obviously, Tagalifico, McIntosh, Bijlau, Timber, and Uusu. And we got some of the other... Uh, Eredivisie boys on the bench. Now, if you can tell, there's so many Eredivisie cards this year to play with. It is truly beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to see. I'm glad EA has shown more attention to smaller leagues like this outside of the big boy leagues. I wish EA would continue that. Now, I know you're going to say right now at the top of your head, you're probably thinking, I don't have chem styles in all these cards. I just don't have a lot of chem styles in my clubs right now. I, and I just don't feel like putting them on Eredivisie because I don't ever really play with them outside of videos <laughs> or, or challenges. But yeah, uh, this is the squad we're going to go into a game with. And oh yeah, by the way, this Cuckoo is so cheap to get. He's only an 82 overall squad. I think right now that's like 18,000 coins. I think everyone has the fodder in their club to do it. I think you should do it. He's just a good center mid definitely to add to the squad and it will be good for objectives down the line. So regardless, for only that much, I think you have to do him. That's just me personally. It's just how you get around to it and when you get around to it because there's so many SPCs to do right now. But let's hop into a game and test out Cuckoo and see how he plays in-game. The opponent we are going up against has a pretty, nothing crazy, La Liga squad. He doesn't have the upgraded desk as in the video the other day, which I truly thoroughly did enjoy that upgraded desk. But uh, let's see how Cuckoo faces against the La Liga. Hilaire, right off the bat, just going to take it from him. Hilaire is just another one of those SBCs if you didn't do it with the Eredivisie boys. It's just, you missed out. You missed out. <laughs> There's just so many talented cards this year in this league. I almost said division. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not a game without a couple defensive errors. Oh, Hilaire almost got it. Pele from a tight angle. Oh, wow. I snuck that one in. Nice. I always seem to pick up wins with the Eredivisie boys, and then like, I can play with my legit squad and I get way tougher opponents or something. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, I'm up. Let's go. <laughs> Van Ginkle. I don't know why he's so far forward. I thought Kaku was going to be making these runs. Over the top, yes. Let's go. I let him through. Bad defense. It's a goal. Yep, the one weakness of the team is since I run on all first owner boys is Timber kind of just lets one fly on accident. My bad. 
All right, let's see Kaku actually on the attack a little more besides just basic back passes. Can he make a good cross? No. Kaku? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Uh, nice pass to Pele and back and Haji. Oh, I thought I missed it for a second. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm truly trying to get Kaku a goal right now, guys. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm going to keep working for it. Oh no, here we go again. All there. Yep, backs in the net. He's quitting out of here. He's out of here. Alright, I think I'm going to make it a short video because I am going to spam a lot of videos tonight. That is my goal. Uh, Cuckoo, nothing really crazy there. One shot. His shooting's alright. Nice shot power and things like that. His passing is pretty good for my experience. Uh, basically, short passes. The only pass I kind of screwed up on were some crosses. They didn't seem to locate as well. I don't remember what those stats were all the way for that. But his short passes and things like that, he finds through balls very, very well. And he's doing a lot of good just basic passes around. Uh, you probably didn't see him highlighted a whole lot here. But nice to see a win pretty dominating fashion. But yeah, sorry I didn't do a huge long video on him. I just have a lot of stuff to record right now and I'm pretty busy at the moment. So we're going to end that video there. You definitely should do Kaku. He's so cheap. There's so many Eredivisie cards to link nowadays. Y you, ju you should do it. Why not? The Turkish boys are all doing it. You know, the Turkish mad lads. Why not? Why not? But yeah, that is the end of the video. If there's any cards or anything like that you want me to check out, review in the future, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.